all week long we've been talking about that amazing technology behind the Planet of the Apes movie. Now it's time for Ginger's adventure with the motion capture magic. Take a look at how she went to New Zealand for ape camp. Kia ora, at least that's what they say here in New Zealand. We made it to Wellington and we're ready to go. Wellington is home to Oscar winning blockbusters like Lord of the Rings Come on, and The Jungle Book. Their magic begins with Weta Digital, the special effects company brought to life by Peter Jackson. At Weta, they use motion capture technology, or mocap. They are pioneers in film. They make fantasy worlds, transform actors into primates, hobbits, and Navi creatures. I do not start this war, but I will finish it. War for the Planet of the Apes, the third in the series, is by far their most spectacular. You know, a piece of fur and you dump some snow on it. In the real world, that's the easiest thing to do. In our world, that's incredibly hard because you have to understand how the snow accumulates across all these different hairs and what they do to the hair and how it melts and how it falls off. Most of the film was shot on location in Canada, but about 30% of war was done here. Action! On this New Zealand soundstage, wearing mocap suits. They're basically Velcro pajamas with dots, capturing the actor's movements using 50 infrared cameras with LED lights. From that, such a leap of, you know. Exactly, well there's a process. They see those dots moving around. They're able to like figure out where in 3D space all those dots are. In a way, you strip it back to almost like, you know, uh, minimalist theater. There's no costume. You're the character and you're playing with another character and we add the, the details later. I've got the suit on, next I gotta get my dots. On the suit, there are exactly 53 sensors from head to toe. I plan on doing some twerking, so if you could make sure that the booty dots look good. Those dots act as reflectors, allowing cameras to capture every single movement, or in my case, a couple of dance moves. The so step up here, this is where I'm gonna get scale. Look straight ahead. And here's the really cool part. A Weta technician scans your body and creates a 3D image, then digitally transforms your human form into any kind of primate. Alan, you're gonna teach me all things ape. Yes. <laughs> Alan Henry has spent years studying the way they behave and move. When they're stepping, there's a natural swing in those arms. And it's just like normal walking. These are the arm extensions. Mm -hmm. Slide your hands in there. The idea is your weight is distributed evenly over all four points. Okay. Good. Yeah. Woo! Not bad. Apes are strong. <laughs> <laughs> With a little help from Alan's son, Gus, we were ready for our close-up. So let's see how we measure up to the real deal. Hmm, well, I'm no Caesar, but not too bad for a first timer. You love my son. It wasn't all monkey business though. I had a little fun shaking it off. Keep that T-Swift. For Good Morning America, Ginger Z, ABC News, New Zealand. That was so cool. That was cool. It looks like she had a lot of fun with it as well. War for the Planet 8 takes theaters tomorrow.